Hi everybody, this is Ming Yao from Singularity Engineering. Today I'm playing with a new toy, Granta CES Selector. Uh, a couple months ago I said it's great to have a, a big materials library and here I have it in hand and it's truly fantastic. So let's take a look at what we've got here. I have a wide range of material libraries here, shown also on the right hand side. We have different classes. Right now I'm just looking at the material universe where I have ceramics, metals, polymers, plastics. I've worked with hundreds of engineers whose biggest problem has always been, where do I find right material properties? Well, here we go. Got different types of glasses. Uh, let's look at some high temperature borosilicate glass. And here is uh, widely used for Pyrex. We can look at different grades of it and all the material property we, we, I need is right here. We have the density, all the mechanical information, including fatigue strength, elastic modulus, impact and fra fracture toughness, thermal properties, uh, electrical, di uh, dielectric constants for relative primitivity for electromagnetic simulations, optical information for optical analysis, even um, whether it's uh, ROHS compliant, ROHS compliant, durability, uh, whether you can be recycled and end of life, and obviously the price as well. So lots and lots of data here. Look at some of the polymers here. Um, just pick a, 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 a EVA here with a shore hardness of A65. Again, all of the information I would need to do simulation and to do trade-offs and studies. So it can, this is a huge and vast library of materials. The metals are particularly cool because I have uh, information on the fatigue strength as uh, bands and curves, so I can do fatigue simulation of these uh, metals, uh, non-ferrous precious metal alloys, so some uh, commercial purity gold material with uh, all the mechanical properties, fatigue strength, thermal, electrical, so comprehensive material information on almost any material that you can buy off the shelf today. It's even more interesting because we can do chart charts. So let's uh, let's create a chart here. Um, on the y-axis, we're gonna go with uh, oh, let's take a look at some mechanical properties because I love those. So we want to look at the Young's modulus, and on the x-axis, let's take a look at, for example, the price of uh, per unit volume. Okay. And we can switch the, the charts in different forms. Okay, let's uh, switch this to a different look. All right, so this is a bubble chart. Uh, we can take a look at different materials in my library. So we got foam, which is soft, very soft and very cheap. Much harder are non-technical ceramics, so we have things like concrete. Uh, over here we have elastomers, plastics, metals alloys, technical ceramics, and this is composites. So we have literally the material universe here right in my fingertips. Can zoom into any of these areas, so let's, uh, let's look at some uh, really, really strong and really expensive materials. It's up here. So we got diamond, obviously a fairly expensive material, gold and platinum alloy for uh, for dental alloys. So if you double click on one of these things, it tells us about all of the mechanical properties as well as thermal electrical properties, as well as uh, uh, processing carbon footprint for, for uh, energy consumption and energy estimates. So lots of information here. Um, we can also use limits. So if I'm looking for a particular material, so maybe we want to have some sort of a, a price per unit volume. So maybe $100, 10 bucks per square foot. Uh, we can define some mechanical properties. You can look at your thermal properties, optical properties. So maybe we want to look for things that are translucent and transparent. 
and uh, see what we get. So we need to increase our costs here, and all of a sudden we have our transparent and translucent material. We can then start specifying different stiffness, different uh, uh, maybe uh, recycling end of life or processing energy consumption rates, and this allows us to quickly down select to even more material. So this is a fantastic tool that is now available to to all of our customers here in Northern California and around the world. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. Really great database of all kinds of materials, and this is just a start. We have uh, many other material libraries available in various forms. So really cool, really exciting uh, new technology from ANSYS. It's called CES Selector. Allows me to pick the right material quickly and I can now I now have material data on virtually anything I want to simulate. So uh, it's a really fun and a great day. Thanks for uh, watching this video. If you like it, please like us on YouTube. And um, if you want to visit us, visit us at singularityeng.com. Thanks and have a good day.